Okay, we're back. Video 152, The Voices of the CSP. Um, took longer than I thought, so uh, that we talked about the piano and the voices. Now, uh, one, one more thing I want to show you in voices. Let's say I want to make my own custom layers. Let's just go take a piano. Look at, if you can see my screen, you see main layer and left. If I turn on layer, it defaults to real strings, which will be just fine for our purposes. So now I have piano. Well, let's say, oh, I don't want that much string. I have a mixer section here. I can just turn down the string. Isn't that awesome? Uh, then if I want to add a left voice, you know, like there's a dot here that shows my split point. I can move that, see the dot moving. I can change that split point wherever I want. I could make that a bass, I could do whatever. Once I get my settings like I want it, I can save it as a registration right here. Okay, so here's some registrations I've had saved from other CSPs actually. But uh, here's a, a registration I call beautiful. Let's see what it is. All right. It's doing its connection there. So it's a Busendorfer, an electric piano, and a pad. Reminds me of E.T. really pretty sounds. Um, okay, enough of that. I, I get so caught up in the voices. Okay, let's talk about styles. Let's go back to just the piano. Ooh, shut everything off. Just go to piano. I'm going to go to CFX Grand. Okay, just so I have it. Now then, when I go to styles, styles are beats and rhythms. So it brings up standard eight beat is the first one. So a style is a drum beat with variations, fills, okay, Here's a fill and a... Now, the variations also affect the other stuff. When I play a chord... That's a slight variation, but you hear the fill. Now, I can turn off the bass if I want to. I can turn off the background stuff, so it's just drums and bass. I can turn off the beat. set up just to follow my chords styles um, that it follows you it 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 it, uh, it follows you and there's variations look at this uh, 6 8 ballad in the pop rock section and the 12 That's how a style works. It just follows you. And, and I'm telling you, there's every kind of a style you can imagine. Pop and rock, soul, dance, country blues, standards and jazz, entertainment, Latin and world. So, you know, if you want a nice slow bossa. I can change the voice, do whatever I want on that. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of a quick overview of styles. I want to quickly get to songs. This is where it gets very, very cool. So let's go to songs. And first I want to go to pop songs. Um, let me do, here's a wonderful tonight, Eric Clapton. All right. So when I bring that up, I have sheet music. I don't know if you can see it from there very well. 
but uh, let me forward a few measures and I want you to show you what's going on. I'm going to turn off the right hand. Uh, let me see the lights. That's showing me where, where to play. to get the notes exactly right. Sort of waits on me. And so very, very cool in that. I not only do I have uh, pop songs, but I have classic songs. This book has included uh, all the songs from the 50 uh, classic music selections that Yamaha's put together is in this thing. So if I want to play, there's simple songs and even more difficult songs. Let's say I want to learn to play Claire de Lune. All right, I can bring it up. Let's say, well, I'm going to learn the left hand. So I'm going to turn off the left hand, turn on the guide function and push go. It shows me the first two notes. Oh, I'm sorry. It plays the other hand. Follow the lights. Isn't that pretty? Now every teacher will tell you to learn hands separately. So I can go back to the beginning, switch that, turn on the right hand. reading the music or just following the lights. Clears them out. Really, really cool way to learn songs. There's another program called uh, Flow key. You get three months of this when you buy a Clavinova. Flow, flow key is not a Yamaha thing, but Yamaha endorses them. It does similar with all kinds of great pop and rock songs. So and and classical songs. So also uh, in here we have lesson books like the Bayer, the Bergmuller, the Cherney. All those lessons that 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 were written for beginner students to develop as they go. The hand and exercises are in here. That's just pretty to watch. Here, watch a hand and exercise and watch the lights. Can you see the lights? <laughs> Isn't that nice? Okay. And obviously, if you're playing it, if you made a mistake, it would stop and tell you. All right. Uh, now, the last thing, or one, one more thing I want to show you is the music library. Music library is songs that you own in iTunes. And this uses a great, it used to be called Chord Tracker, but it's incorporated in this app. So let's let's go to a, a, to a song here. Let's back up. I'll just use what I'm real familiar with. Here's a Josh, a Josh Turner. Y'all know the song, I Wanna Be Your Man. So this is an actual recording that I bought on iTunes. What this app does is it just analyzes, is a good word for it, that song and made chords. So it also on the CSP puts it on the score. So now when I push play, you guessed it, it's gonna show me where to put my hands to play with. Now this song is in one, two, three, four, five, six flats, simply because this note for Josh Turner sounds so good, listen. And turn the lights down. Okay, so that's the right key for Josh, but that is the wrong key for a piano player. So watch this. Transpose. I'm going to raise. Make Josh a little bit more of a tenor. I went up plus one. Now my chords are now G, E minor, D, 
chords that make sense to me, even to a guitar player could play along with me. All right? Now, I'm playing more white keys. I can score it, see it on my score. So any song in your music library, this app called the Yamaha Smart Pianist, which you can download for free and, and check this out, Yamaha Smart Pianist, it will, it will take any song in your iTunes library or your Google Music library, whatever. Can't be streaming, it has to be bought, right? It's not stuff you just, you have to have bought it. Uh, and it will, it will then convert it to a chord chart for you. Is that not super, super cool? So that's that. Of course, user songs are songs that I've recorded. I can plug a microphone into here and uh, 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 sing along. It does vocal harmony. Uh, one other thing, let me show you here. I've always have this, uh, uh, okay, I've still got him loaded. I always have this record button right here in the corner. So if I'm playing and I wanna record it, I can do it. So let's say I've got my microphone plugged in singing along. I can go in and, and suppress the melody almost make this a karaoke track. Hear that? How he's nearly gone. Let's go over what I have in mind. Lock the door and turn the lights down low. Let some music on the song. So you get the idea. So I can suppress the vocal. I can also, once I learn the song, completely abandon the original, go to an arrangement of that song. It's going to retain the tempo and the key. Uh, I'm going to go choose not a slow bossa, but let's go to country. And I'm just going to choose the first style that comes up, see how it sounds. So now the key is there. I'm going to transpose it again, put it back in G. Now this is a total style that kept the tempo, right? And it's playing the chords back. So I can be singing, I can push record, record it, all that stuff. The recordings are interesting because MIDI-wise and uh, uh, audio files, like CD quality, records to your iPad. And then you have to use what's called Dropbox to, to move them around. But you can send these recordings. I use this for my worship team. I'll record stuff and then send it out. So uh, lots of cool things you can do. So I probably need to stop this here. This is the Yamaha CSP. Uh, there's two videos, one prior to this, mostly about voices, and then this one that showed some of the other features. Um, very cool instrument. Come down and see them. Uh, they start at 3500 bucks. is all. Come on down.